Cam comes at trolling teenagers, almost literally. Marcus Peters signs with the Las Vegas Raiders, leaving the Panthers still looking for a cornerback. Injuries on and off the field striking the NFL. Let's hope that bug doesn't strike Carolina. And familiar pictures of the peach means we're heading to Spartanburg. Let's hit the news. Starting with Cam. Yo, you yes. met me. Yes. I met you. Grant, tell me about it. Show me a picture. Show me a picture. I got an Oh, shit. How many rings you got? Show me a picture. Nine. Nine. I got a question. Oh, Nine. shit. Oh, oh shit. Nine. We got the same amount. And no, but we don't got the same bank account. Ski, 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 ski. What is Cam? Oh, my gosh. Man, we don't know what, I don't really even know what to say about this, guys. Get in the comments. Tell me, was Cam out of line here? Were these trolling kids, did they deserve it? Man, Cam is kind of easy fodder for these people at this point. Doesn't deserve this personally, but man, he knows how to strike back. Marcus Peters is now off the table, leaving the Carolina Panthers still probably in need of a quarterback. Now, should the Panthers reach out in the free agency? This was a potential option. Who else is out there? Marcus Peters signs a one-year $5 million contract with the Las Vegas Raiders. Man, injuries. Uh, the big fear of training camp. Lions defensive back C.J. Gardner-Johnson suffered a non-contact knee injury at practice and was carted off the field. Right now, reports are saying that the MRIs are clear. So nice for C.J. Gardner-Johnson here. Tough news, however, for Naeem Hines of the Buffalo Bills, who suffered an off-the-field injury, was injured in a jet ski accident unfortunately he was just a bystander and it was a bad driver who ran into his jet ski man this is the type of thing that has to be scary for nfl players usually you know components or built-in structures to the contract that you know really negate some off the field injury so we hope naeem hines is able to recover quickly it sounds like it is a serious injury however chris jones holding out the best defensive tackle in the NFL last season, looks for upwards of $30 million a year. He's in the final year of a four-year deal. Aaron Donald, the highest paid uh, player in the defensive tackle right now. Chris Jones reportedly willing to sit out. Should Chris Jones sit out? Do you guys think that's effective tactic for these guys pushing for these contracts? And on top of that, can defensive tackles really command that type of money in this NFL. Does Chris Jones deserve that $30 million a year? Get in the comments and let me know. How does this pan out? Man, we're heading to Spartanburg. And Spartanburg means this. We get to see these fun pictures of the peach in Gaffney, South Carolina. The peach butt. The peach black hole. Whatever you want to call this thing. This is Darren Gant. He does this every year. Reporter with Panthers.com. Hey, guys, stop and take a picture with the peach. Why not? It's going to be a hot one, folks, in Spartanburg. Right now, the average temperatures are going to be in the 90s. Good news, though, is practice is at 10, 15, generally in the morning. So hopefully we'll beat some of this heat. But man, you got to watch out for that humidity. So make sure that you pack the water. And let's finish with this. My favorite Panthers tweet this week that I ran into. Check out T underscore Panthers. He said this, the first time Bryce Young scores a filthy touchdown on the ground, and does the too small move like they do in basketball at Bank of America. Please forgive me, any Panther fans close by, because I'm going to go crazy. I'm going crazy right now. Training camp is right around the corner. We're going to be doing the Tuesday night podcast, 9 p.m. We're going to be bringing you live reports and after practice reports. Don't forget Thursday, Monster Subs, post-practice podcast. Come hang out with the crew. All of us are going to be there. We got some cool gifts for you guys and giveaways. Come and check us out at Monster Subs. Probably around 1.30 is when we'll get kicking on Thursday. We'll be out there all week, so make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Check us out on Twitter at, at cat underscore chronicles. Be a part of this community.